I'm Dan Colley, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the third lecture in the 2008 series, Global Diseases, Voices from the Vanguard. As most of you know, this is a joint effort between the Center for Tropical and Emerging Global Diseases and the Knight Chair in Health and Medical Journalism in the Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communication, AKA Pat Thomas, and a group of others who make this happen. This series brings together those with widespread interests in global health from across the breadth of the UGA campus and to some extent people out in town. And I thank each of you for coming this evening. Today we have an excellent speaker, someone who both mans the front lines and knows the inner workings of global health, Dr. Frank Richards. Frank is at the Carter Center. But before I introduce Dr. Richards, I'd like to mention the remaining Voices of the Vanguard lecture for this semester on April 15th, yeah, tax day. Uh, we're pleased to have Dr. Annie DeGroat from Brown University and Epivax as our speaker. And after hearing today's lecture, I hope you will want to come back next month and hear Dr. DeGroat. One other announcement. Uh, as usual, after these lectures, there will be a reception next door in Demosthenian Hall. So right after the lecture, out and to the left. So this evening's speaker was born in Bitburg, Germany. But we still think he can run for president because he was born in the U.S. Air Force Base in Bitburg. So we're, he's still a viable candidate. He doesn't remember much about Germany. But that international flavor must have rubbed off somehow, because after being raised in St. Louis, graduating from Williams College and Cornell University Medical College, he has since worked in more than 15 countries and lived for five years in Guatemala. Dr. Frank Richards is a board certified pediatrician who spent his entire career focused on global health. After house staff training, at Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. He joined the Commission Corps of the United States Public Health Service at the CDC, and his calling has been almost entirely centered on tropical disease control, elimination, and eradication programs in the Americas and in Africa. As you will hear, both at CDC and more recently at the Carter Center, Dr. Richards has championed and led control programs against some of the world's worst scourges in some of the world's most challenging places. He is a world leader in creating new ways forward in the difficult area of tackling multiple diseases in a coordinated manner. Dr. Richards has been honored nationally and internationally for his work. He exemplifies the breadth and depth of what I think a public health physician, medical epidemiologist can bring to the global health challenge. And I'm very pleased to present him to you this evening as our March 2008 Voices from the Vanguard Lecturer. Frank. Well, good evening. Uh, thanks, Dan, for that introduction. I think Dan did mention that he was, uh, he was my boss for five, six, seven years when he was director of the Division of Parasitic Diseases at uh, at the Centers for Disease Control, and he was a great boss and very supportive of what I was trying to do, and I, I thank you for that. And I thank uh, you all for coming tonight. Um, my topic tonight is uh, bundling grassroots services to battle neglected diseases in Africa, a journey to Nigeria. Uh, it's kind of hard to live up to um, the flyers that, we, that, that I've seen uh, here on what I'm supposed to be. Um, <clears throat> I'm su supposed to be one of four charismatic scientists who are inviting you to help me defeat infectious diseases that thrive in poverty and kill millions of people worldwide. So I'm the third charismatic scientist <laughs> to be with you. Um, I hope I can live up to that billing. I want to review very quickly what Dan just said to let you know sort of who I am and what my orientation is. Um, and I usually use the P's to do that, to explain to people what I do and what my interests are. The first is pediatrics. I'm trained in pediatrics. 
The second is I have a passion for parasites. And in particular, my passion for parasites relates to worms. So I'm mainly going to talk to you about worm parasites of human beings. Then these worm parasites of human beings usually affect people living in dire, abject poverty, really people living under a uh, dollar per day. So the poor is an important element in what I do. And I'm not a clinician. I'm trained in clinical medicine, but my interest is preventing disease, and it's in public health. And it's not just public health, it's in programs. So I don't really think of myself as a scientist, per se. I really think of myself more as a program person. Um, pills is the next P. I'm involved with tablets, with passing out pills. I'm sort of a pill roller, if you will, with collaborators around the world. And these tablets are tablets which have been developed really in the last 30 years, uh, remarkably safe, that can have really dramatic impact on people's lives. And I call these the poor man's vaccines. You don't need needles to distribute these. You don't need refrigerators or what we call cold chains. So it's, it's really a great opportunity, a new technology that is even more um, uh, germane to fighting diseases in the poor because we have what we call public-private partnerships where industry, big pharma, is donating these medicines and asking others to come together around the donation to help find the resources and the logistics and the mechanisms to treat people who are in very remote communities. Anytime you talk about public-private partnerships or anytime you talk about public health, you're really talking about power relationships and politics. And so I'm very lucky to work with President Carter, who is a uh, politician par excellence who is very concerned with the poor, very concerned with equity, and as you all know, won a peace prize. President Carter, and this is what the Nobel Peace Prize looks like, aside from the medal, which he won in 2002. And here I am with President Carter in Ethiopia about a year ago discussing one of these interventions related to public health, pri public private, public health partnerships involving pills and politics. Mm -hmm. Now, I really like this statement by President Carter at the um, award of his Nobel Peace Prize. He said, I was asked to discuss here in Oslo the greatest challenge that the world faces. Among all the possible choices, I decided that the most serious and universal problem is the growing chasm between the richest and the poorest people on Earth. The separation is increasing every year. The results of this disparity are the root causes of most of the world's unresolved problems. So when we talk about today, in the next 45 or 50 minutes or so, diseases of poverty, forgotten diseases of forgotten people, neglected diseases of the tropics, we're really not only talking about public health and international or global health, we're also talking, in my opinion, about global peace. If you visited the Carter Center in Atlanta, and I hope you will, you'll know it's a very beautiful place. Uh, beautiful grounds, and on those grounds is what I call my statue. Uh, it is a statue of a young boy leading his blinded father out to the fields for another day of scratching in the dry earth to earn a way, a living, a way to survive. These are diseases at the end of the road. And this little boy is holding a tablet which we must deliver to the, end of the world, to the end of the road to try and prevent these conditions and help people. So what